In this video, I'll create this mesh object. Before I get started, I'll select the 3D modeling workspace. This gives me easy access to the most commonly used 3D modeling tools. Now I have the solid, surface, and mesh tabs available on the ribbon. Because 3D objects are easier to create and visualize in a 3D view, I'll hold down the shift key and mouse wheel button while moving the mouse to change the view. I could also change the view using the view cube. Next, I'll select the wireframe visual style from the viewport controls to make sure I can see all edges of the model. Now I'm ready to get started. I'll select the mesh tab, then the dialog box launcher, and set the number of tessellation lines. Mesh objects are divided into multiple faces. I can adjust the number of faces by changing the number of tessellation lines. To create my mesh object, I'll start with a mesh primitive, in this case, a mesh box. I'll draw the mesh box giving it a length, width, and height. Next, I'll select the mesh box, right click, and select Smooth More. I'll repeat the Smooth More command by pressing Enter two more times to increase the smoothness of the mesh to level 3. Now I'll reshape the mesh object. I'll hold the Control key and select the faces I want to edit. I'll use the Move gizmo to move the faces I select. Notice the yellow highlight on the gizmo. This indicates whether the movement will be constrained along the X, Y, or Z axis. Next, I'll right-click over the Move gizmo and select Rotate Gizmo to add more curve to the object. Now the yellow highlight shows the plane of rotation. I'll use Add Crease to remove the smoothness from the selected faces and create sharp edges. Next, I'll select the mesh object right click and select refine mesh to increase the level of smoothness. To get a better idea of how my mesh will look, I'll select the shaded visual style from the viewport controls. And finally, I'll orbit around the mesh by holding down the shift key and mouse wheel button 